EMA as that is now known. I think it's called Ask Me Anything. Um, let me just get this camera a little bit higher. Um, I'm going to try. Oh, no, it's all over the place. I'm going to try and answer comments as well on the thing. So everybody who knows this channel knows that I'm quite primitive and I've just got my iPad and I've just got my phone in front of me. But yeah, there's a few of you in already. So I just wanted to say huge, huge thank you to everybody. Um, obviously, this channel it was started off as a bit of fun. It is a bit of fun. Um, I love doing it still, but it's it's mainly for you guys. So a huge thanks to that. What I've got planned for today, then I've got a few things to the right hand side of me. Uh, answers to questions that people have left me or sent me on Instagram. And um, I've got a special unboxing to do as well. So I'll be doing that shortly. Um, other things as well is I haven't actually got a moderator, so I hope nobody jumps on here and starts spamming anything too bad. But um, yeah, and of course, again, same with everything on this channel. Everything on this channel, it's it's open to you guys to ask me anything, ask me anything you want to know. Hey, there we go. People are in already. Great to see. Great to see you all. Hopefully there's a few more in because it's of the time frame, but it, I appreciate it. it is very, very um, short notice. Ah, Rudy Zizzo's in as well. Young man, for four more days. It's my birthday on March the 9th. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, to be fair. I've got another special unboxing to do with that as well. Um, but I suppose I'll just get into us answering a few questions at first. Adam Graham's here as well. I've got something really special to show you in a second, buddy. In fact, I've got something really special to show you all. Um, I'm really lucky that I've had it. I've had it in my house for at least a month or so, and I've still not opened it properly, and I just can't wait to show it with you guys at the moment. Um, someone's asked, though, um, or like silly questions I get asked. I made it. Yay, Christopher McHugh. There he is. Brilliant. I'm really glad that you've made it. Thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be talking quite a bit about Christopher soon as well, actually. Um, it's, he's done something amazing, and I need to, and I'll, you'll, I'll put it all in the video and you'll see it. Um, what I've got as well, so things I've got planned. I've got an unboxing to do in a second. I don't want to keep you guys here for ages. I've got the bag of Transformers that I got when I was a child, because when I did the video, I didn't want to pull everything out, because there's quite a lot in there, to be honest. Um, I just wanted to, and I was a bit overwhelmed as well. I just wanted to get, thanks, thanks, Adam. I just wanted to get the video done. Um, and yeah, first thing I want to talk about, to be fair, because this is a great question that somebody asked me. They wanted me to do some videos on Combiner Wars. And I know that I always say that we had the raw deal being in the UK with, with figures from Generation 1 and with some of the newer figures. I completely agree now that Smith's is smashing it. Smith's is a brilliant toy store for us. We're very, very, very lucky how good it is. But like back in the day, I say we missed, obviously with G1, we missed out on so much. I've just put two videos on the channel. Uh, two 1988 flyers and the differences between um, the UK and America was absolutely ridiculous. But silly little things like this, even later on um, in, in the newer figures, so in the Combiner Wars especially, for people in America, you got these beautiful, lovely comics that came with, obviously, the figures. You got these with the Thrilling 30 and you got them with Combiner Wars. Um, we didn't even really get Thrilling 30. We got the first three figures and the combiner so we lit that's all we had for thrilling 30 but then with combiner wars instead of getting comics we had these collector's cards instead which that's not very fair is it so um i've i've done a video from if i'm halfway through doing a video on ironhide um just to show again highlight the differences between them so i'm going to be doing that um there's a few people on here now i'm not too I, i've done it too fast thanks very much everybody as i say who's already on um, so I think we should, I'll wait for just a few more minutes before we get on to the actual unboxing. I say I've got the comments in front of me and they pop on the screens. So if you want to ask anything, just feel free to. Someone's asked by my Instagram, they want to see the Soundwave reissues. Well, not reissues, the repaints that I've had. And these are funny, these are funny, these are great to be honest. So the, the first one, of course, I'm not including Soundwave or Sound Blaster. Phil's in, nice to see you, Phil. You guys have a nice chat in the thing, so someone's asked to see these, so I'm just gonna show you them again. So yeah, so this is the shattered glass version of Soundwave. So I think this was not including official reissues, I think, or Sound Blaster. I'm pretty sure that this guy was the first redeco of this particular mold. Um, and if memory serves me correct, it's around about 2012. I've probably got that wrong, but it's on the video anyhow. So, and I also believe what I'm really excited about is we're going to be getting Andy's in as well. Brilliant! That I'm going to that we I think we're going to be getting newer versions of these as well. So um, again, we need to find out. I need to find out. Oh, thanks, Phil. In fact, Phil, while you're on the line or while you're there, you can help us UK because most people on here, funnily enough, are UK. 
um, all the Walmart exclusives that they're getting called the, the Velocitron or whatever it is, the Kaosan Velocitron toy line, is there any news if the UK we're going to be getting that? Because I want to know if we're going to get this, the shattered glass ones as well. So that was the first one. The second one, I believe, was this one. This is the Linkin... Thanks, Andy. This was the uh, Linkin Park version. So this was the second redeco, not reissue, of the Soundwave mould. And this is scary because it's gold plastic. <laughs> but I think it's okay. I think it's all all right. I don't think it's, it's too, too damaged. It seems all right. Um, not damaged, rather. Flimsy. It, seem, it seems okay. So this... This, I think, was the second one. Um, and then, of course, the most recent one that I still think is brilliant is this particular guy. So this is, of course, J Balvin Tron. So that's what I believe. I think I've got all of them, the three different uses of the original vintage Soundwave and Sound Blaster mould. So I've not included Soundwave or Sound Blaster, but there they are. There they are. Does the current gold plastic still have the same issue? I know they've, they've managed to fix it, to be honest, Chris. They've managed to fix it really well. Um, I think the latest figures, and again, I was unfortunate to witness firsthand, and funny enough, it's in a bin right in front of me, was, of course, Stratosphere from 2009 in the Revenge of the Fallen figures. Um, he shattered in my hands, completely shattered. Soundwave is, he's definitely the toy that keeps on giving. So, um, and I think a lot of the time now they don't actually even use gold plastic. They just paint it, which which makes more sense to me anyway. Really does, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to do this now because there's quite a few on here. So the box is relatively big. I'm just making sure my address isn't on it because this is live and I can't edit it. Do they have their own character bios names or are they just saying they they are they're all complete. Um, yeah, this so so this guy's actually called J Balvin Tron. I uh, don't know if he's got a story. He must have his own story. It's one of the crossovers. It's one of the craziest crossovers I've ever seen and heard of. Um, I've, again, it is the Sandwave mold, but I think he's got his own name. And um, rarity goodness tonight. And this guy, obviously, yeah, this guy is still he's still Sandwave, uh, just the shattered glass version. So, which I'm sure you know the shattered glass. Uh, universe is it's basically the, the parallel opposite so as you can see these the decepticon logo is red so he's heroic decepticon and it's the evil autobot so it's just like a shift um and yeah the, the linkin park one the linkin park one's just known as linkin park soundwave he's not they've not changed or made a character up about him at all he's just called linkin park soundwave so yeah andy says looking forward to some rarity this this is rare. This is this is yeah. This this is um, yes. I believe Jay Balvintron's just he's he's a reggae artist from some country. I can't think exactly where, but yeah, that that's what he is. He's just a reggae artist, and um, I don't know how he managed to get the collaboration. I understand Ghostbusters. I understand Top Gun. I understand Jurassic Park. Um, I don't understand. Um, I don't. Is it Latin American uh, reggae artist? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. So, yeah, so this particular figure here, ooh, figure, figure, it's not a figure, it's a couple of figures, so that's that's giving you some clues. Where's Bumble Jumper? Bumble Jumper loves this, I actually do games for him, because I know Bumble Jumper loves him so much. It was very random, very random at all. Um, yeah, I, the, the unboxing thing on my channel has become weekly now, so even if it's, even if it's just, I say even if it's just, I think we all get excited when we get a figure, let's be honest. Colombian, that's right, he is, he is, he's definitely Colombian, thanks Adam, that's reminded me. We all get excited when we get new figures and most of the ones I get now, thanks to Philip Robot Recruits, thanks to people who I buy from, they all get sent to me. Of course I still like going to the shops, we all still like going to the shops and to see them, but there's just something about opening a package and I think it started for me years and years ago. I've got like, you can probably just about make out vinyl here and I used to love getting vinyl from different countries as well, so with these... Um, and the thing, the best thing about these, the things that I sort of collect now, it's a Japanese exclusive, by the way. It's a Japanese exclusive straight away. Um, ah, there you go. That's what he wants to. Um, yeah, that they, they managed to make a lot of them all the way over here to this particular country in um, Studio Series Sludge has turned up. I went to Smith this afternoon, funnily enough, because um, again, my wife wanted to get me a present, and they had everything in there. To be honest, I didn't buy. Um, 
they had all of them because I'm still waiting for mine from, from Phil. And that's not me having to go at you, Phil, by the way. That's just me saying that I'm waiting for them. So they had them all. They had the Studio Series, Bumblebee, Brawn, Soundwave, Ratchet, and who's the other one? Wheeljack. They had all of them in. They had Studio Series 86, Perceptor, Leader Class, Starscream, um, Is Sludge. I don't know if he's on Smith's pre-order, to be honest. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't even know if Phil's got his up yet. I need to I need to get him on pre-order, definitely. Uh, but yeah, they had all of the new Bumblebee Studio Series movies figures there. They had, um, yeah, they had the Studio Series 86 as well. Oh, there you go. <gasps> Black Zarek's coming. Wow, Black Zarek is coming. Perfect. So, onto this. So, onto this box. So, this is come Canoid in Blu-ray 4K. Nice to see you. Hello. This is this is a Japanese exclusive. It's more than one figure, but it's not a combiner. So that's that's a pretty big clue if you know Japanese figures, because most of the Japanese figures, if they come um, in twin packs or gift sets, and that's the other thing I love about the Japanese figures that they did have so many gift sets. I've been asked, and I'm going to try and do it, but again, it's space providing. I'm going to try and collate a video of the Japanese gift set. So like your big powered, which has got, yeah, exactly. Um, which has got, what's the word I'm on about? Of course, yeah, it's got three completely different robots in. Yes, they do combine, but of course you've got the Land Cross bots, there's three of them, and then there's a gift set. You've got Buster and Hydra, which are of course their versions of Dreadwind and Darkwing. They've got their own gift set. And I don't know why we never did, I don't know why Hasbro never did it either, because I thought that would be a brilliant, brilliant idea so these are let me think right so this will be 1986 so it's not victory it's not zone it's not return of convoy operation combination it's it's 1986 um it's not standard um normal figures thanks very much canadian blue rate i don't know your name i'm just going to refer to you as what your name is on there um and yeah, so it, it's part of a set. No one's guessing, I wanna see some guesses. Anybody got any guesses? Not yet. Right, it's incredibly well wrapped, which of course it had to be. Love the hoodie, by the way. Judge Dredd, got, <laughs> gotta be in it. I just, I, I'm, I think I'm the same as all you guys, as we all just like films, we all just like toys, and that's probably why we all get on so well, to be honest. Right, here it all is, here it all is, Daniel. Thanks for that, Daniel. Now we know who you are. Um, right. So, it's silly, silly all wrapped up in here. Um, I can see it. You guys can't see it, um, obviously. What was I saying? I can't even think. I've forgotten. But yeah, so it's an exclusive. It's an exclusive set. And it's... Some of the figures in are exclusive for certain reasons, so they're slightly different. Reflector is the only three I can think of. That's very true. Reflector is a three set. And funnily enough, I think he was it. No, because in Japan, he wasn't a mail away. He was, um, oh, 86 train bots. No, it's not that one. Good guess though. Um, Reflector was just normal in Japan. He was mail away for everywhere else. Nobody in the UK. Maybe some of the same wave cassettes. Do you know what, Matthew? If I'm being honest, they're the ones that I'm really hunting for at the moment. But the, the ones that they reissued, Hasbro did what they called Dial and Noor or whatever, the ones, them, they're the ones that I'm really hunting for. But there's a couple on Chuck's website, but I, I can't afford them. Alpha, thanks, Alpha No Fanta. He's on as well. Right. So it's coming out of here. There's a few guesses there. It's still even in more protective casing. And the best thing about this is... Right, I'm going to give you a huge, huge clue now, guys. The best thing about this is it's complete and it's complete with the poster. So is that giving you is that giving you enough clues? One of the combiner teams in different deco. Nope, it's not one of the combiner teams in different deco. Um, which ones have they got? The Takara ones I've got. I've got the Bruticus. I've got a computer on that, but I haven't got, I'm still taking bits off it. Um, but no, it's not a combiner team. This is, if I was to say, has, it's going really well, Daniel. Thank you very much. It's quite late over here, though. It's It's got to be about quarter past, what we'd say, 11 p.m. 
Desirous. No, it's not Adam. He's, it's not anything from 1989, it's from 1986. I got that loose Desirous though from the space shop, the space bridge the other week, the other month rather now as it was. So um, I'm just hunting bits for him. Right, it's out of the protective packaging. And shall we just show you? Let's just show you. It's this one. It's this one. So I've got, I was going to say, I've got the, um, I can't stop grinning, I'm sorry. I've got the Autobot one, which is, of course, good by Convoy, but I don't have this one. So this one is only two figures. Um, <laughs> this is, um, this is, there's only two, obviously, in the Autobot one. There was Prime, Mirage, and Red Alert, wasn't it? Yeah. So you've got the 86 artwork on the back. You've got the two tech specs. You've got, um, what's interesting is that it's got the original Megatron pictures, which has got the inside blue leg being, um, sorry, the leg being blue. And um, that's what he was. He was obviously, he was a good metal gray and he wasn't, I'm trying to open this now. He was, my <laughs> Rudy. He was um, a good metal gray and he had a blue inside, right. This, I'm as far as I'm aware, Canadian Blu-ray, how many Transformers do you have in my collection? At a guess, maybe 4K, something like that, I don't really know. So, yes, I've, I've managed to slide it out. And, um, yeah, it's pretty much, by the looks of this, it's pretty much, it's unused. Ah, Simon's on, he's on. So, what we've got here is, yeah, it's, it's unused because it doesn't look like the Megatron's been taken out. So, you know, in the Megatron boxes, when you take them out, that sometimes it snaps the, plas the polythene off here. But can you make out that that's not chrome at all, that that's gunmetal grey? So it's, it's gunmetal grey plastic. It's not chromed at all. Um, what is chromed is the extra weapon that he had in Japan. He had this, I can't even pull it out. The weapons are, are pretty much stuck in. I can't take the sword out. I want to take the sword out and show you, but it's stuck in, so I don't want to pull it out. So on the first release, the first issue of Megatron, he didn't have, it didn't have the scope or it had anything. It just had this um, sword with it. And that is the sword that he had. And it had the gunmetal gray on it, but the legs on the, on the one, like I say, on the box were blue, which you can see there. Whereas this one, to differentiate it, and so that you know that it's basically only from this set, it's not chrome, but the inside legs are red. So I wonder, I don't know if I can take it out. Um, I think I might be able to take it out without damaging it. Can you hear that? Can you hear the polystyrene? Um, I don't think I can. It just the reason I had the sword is because at the time, um, I, I read this somewhere, to be honest. It, it just never had the scope. He never had the arm cannon. I think because they hadn't made the cartoons yet. They hadn't made the cartoons in Japan, obviously. Sunbow hadn't made the cartoons, and they hadn't made the comics either. So all that was decided, and this is the crazy thing about Megatron, and I will try and take this bit out to show you, is that he was... I can just about take the scope out. It's told the polystyrene off with me. This must have not been taken out of at all. What The crazy thing about the Japanese um, Megatrons is... And I'm not going to pull them out, you can see. Can you see there that there's, there's bullets? And they're all still on the sprue. So they all worked. They all still work. So we've like so I imagine if I get the Takara and the Starscream's missiles out in a minute and fired them, because of course their safety standards were different, it would proper launch out. But yeah, the Megatron was it never had the cannon. He didn't have it at all. Um, so I could, if I wanted to, which obviously I'm not going to, I could take them bullets out and load them into that particular Megatron and it would work. Um, so yeah, he didn't have the scope, he didn't have the cannon. Um, in the, I think it was D, ah, David's here as well, in the D6, no, it wasn't even a D, it was just issue number 16 um, for Megatron. Um, yeah, he didn't, he didn't have it at all. I want to try and take the sword out for you, but I don't, oh, I've got it, I've got it. There you go, there's the sword. So that's the sword that he had in in the in the very first releases of Megatron. So that's that's stunning actually, better than I thought it would be. Um, what else do I want to show you out of this? There, 
some Japanese sleeves I ever saw with the Hasbro version. Yeah, Fortress Maximus definitely did. The Takara book collection, did it? I can't remember. I, I, I never collected the book collections, but yeah, Starscream's missiles are still on the sprue. Um, I think this is his, yeah, that's his, that's his stickers and his instructions still sealed. Um, they've got them in two parts by the looks of it. There's the tail fins. Um, and I think, i am still got to show you the poster yet, guys. The poster's on the floor here. Um, this is Meg's stuff. And I love the way they did this as well. They always had, wow, it's, it is, it's totally, it's totally unused. I'm gonna open this up. Precursor to the Dark Energy on Sabre, maybe. Um, let's have a look what's inside here. This is, this is straight out of, oh, it is open. I'm not a fan of swords with transforms. Ah, Clinical, how you doing, mate? He's on here as well. Um, so this is, this will be all Megatron's bump. There is a couple of differences. I think he's got a slight color change. Um, the, um, if I, in fact, if I try and show you, I might as well just try and take him out without trying to damage it. The, um, the red. I don't want to take it out, sorry guys. Not yet, anyway, if you see the red, see how dull it looks. The red isn't shiny at all. Whereas that red at the top part, obviously in the normal star screams, is really reflective, isn't it, and shiny. So this here is it's like, used like a dull or like a matte paint on it. It's, it's completely dull. So that's the difference with star scream. There's Megatron stickers, Megatron's instructions. This is the mail away. I love these com comment cards and feedback cards as well. Yes, it is. It, it, I suppose you're probably right, actually. It, it is. It's, it's much, it is a darker colour red. Now we've got a catalogue. No, exactly. I'm not opening them up. <laughs> I'm going to put them all back in and I'm going to show you the poster with it now. Yeah, I think this is pretty much, I think I'm very lucky. The seller said it was unused and you've got to always take things with a pinch of salt with 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 these because um of course once the boxes are it's not like it's a sealed mint unsealed card or anything um there's you can never 100 percent tell can't you i suppose it's a bit like pops you know the pop vinyls they've not got any tape on them so somebody could have had it on display for months on end and then stick it back in the box and say it's never been opened but um but yeah this is this is what you know this you may have seen this before and i've discussed the Goodbye Convoy one go before, and I've seen that these particular things, which is the posters that come with them. What have you here? Hunger, I'm gonna, I'll just show you very quickly. This was my special unboxing, mate. It was this, it was this. So I've literally just took it out of the package. I'm having a look at it now. I've had a quick look. I've not looked at it in that much detail myself at all. Um, but yeah, these posters I've seen sell for the same price as what the gift sets sell, sell for. So I was really pleased that I managed to get the, um, do I collect any other toy lines? I get asked this all the time and it's, not that I don't like other toy lines, I love, I'm, I've, I've just got something right in front of me just to make you laugh. <laughs> I don't collect them, but I just thought that was funny. <laughs> so I had to buy that. It's, it, it's just literally right there. Um, I love Marvel, I love Lego, I love all that sort of stuff, but I just have no room. I've got no room whatsoever. Um, no room anywhere at all. Um, what was I saying? I was talking about, yeah, I don't care, data. Um, yeah, so these posters, as stupid as it sounds, you could totally see why, that if you were a kid and you had this set, you know, why you wouldn't, why you'd keep this, and if you sold anything on or why, yeah. Just exactly that. Goonies do rule. I was gonna wear my Goonies top, but I want my dread one instead. So the posters go for as much as the sets. So now if Thingy was on here right now, Magnum, he's managed to find a book with some of these pictures of art in. But this, so, okay, yeah, quickly give a brief of history on it. So up to 1986, obviously this was there, because in Japan, they didn't recognize the movie. The Transformers movie didn't happen in Japan until way, way, way later in their continuation of, of the Transformers. And of course, people who've seen Victory and that will know because obviously Wheeljack and Perceptor are in Victory. So although it had happened, they, they disregarded it and carried on. But the Goodbye Megatron was, I suppose, their version 
um, of how they could just move on to Galvatron without really saying much. So what these posters are, the Autobot one's exactly the same. So on this poster is a brilliant, brilliant images of all of the Decepticons that were released from 1984 up to 1986. And um, yeah, this, this is it here. So if I, you've got Trypticon at the back, you've got Reflector there, you've got Thro you've got Ramjet, Blitzwing. I'm gonna slowly slide this across. You've got Devastator at the back, Menasaur, Bruticus. Megatron's on that throne in the middle. Shockwave, all the jets, all the seekers, all the cassettes. It's just an absolutely stunning piece of artwork. That, um, that yeah, it, that it only came with this. It didn't come with anything else, just the goodbye set. So, and again, if you were a kid and you got brought the set and this poster come with it, you wouldn't you wouldn't part with this poster. Yeah, honestly, I've seen these posters sell for three figures, which is ridiculous, but you can see why. And I'm trying to give you a gauge of just, I suppose, let's, it's 4A4, it's 4A4 um, folded together. So I'm incredibly lucky that it's actually Insecticons. Ooh, let's have a look, Clinical. Yes, yeah, they're, they're all three there underneath Bruticus. Shrapnel, Kickback and Bombshell. So yeah, so that's why that's the other reason why these posters are so so sought after. It's every single, as I say, well, character that they'd produced and made. So that's all of the Decepticons on a poster up to 1986. And in the Goodbye Convoy one, it's all the Autobots. That's why the Autobot one's much more jammed together, shall we say. But of course I'll do a proper video on this when I've got the guts to take it out of the packaging and show you the full differences between um, between the two. I probably would frame it, Simon, to be honest, if I had space, and I'd love to frame some of your work as well. Yours is stunning. Um, I'm sure everybody, and if everybody who's not seen, and you need to get onto Transformers UK Collector Instagram for people have a look at his artwork it's absolutely phenomenal and i'm really pleased that he's starting to do something with it and do some prints uh, please check his instagram page out it's fantastic his artwork is amazing um yeah I'd, I'd love to have some space to i suppose display it but yeah so now i've got i've got both of them that was my special unboxing adam graham yeah adam you i, I say i speak to you um, separately as well, I was, like like speak to Simon, and I know that your love for the Japanese figures as well. And do you know what? It's good, but it's annoying because, of course, the more interest that they get, same as everything, the prices are going up on the Japanese exponentially now. Which, like Raiden, I mean, look what the Moon Studios and the Masterpiece have done to Raiden, um, which is good though, because obviously I know that Rudy, who's on the end of the thing, loves Raiden. So, in fact, Rudy, which one are you getting? Are you getting Takara or are you getting Moon Studios? I'm ordered to car a clinical, I believe, already has the Moon Studios, who's in the chat. So hopefully he can, again, spread the word and how good they are. What's your guys' take on it? Which ones, which ones do you think's best? What do you think? And of course, Haslab. Haslab have gone and done Victory Sabre, which, which should be in, if, well, six, seven months now already, shouldn't it? So Rudy's going Moon Studios. I like the Moon Studios. Moon Studios look good, but the problem I get then is if I start buying, um, uh, Rob, thanks Rob, if I start buying third party stuff then where does it stop? You've got the leg bots in already, oh there's a few people who've got them in already, that's great. I'm still waiting on Takara's but I don't know when we're going to get them, you've got the two Moon Studios one that are out but I haven't opened them yet. <laughs> Honestly you're as bad as me, I've got, um, you've just pre-ordered the next two sets, perfect. Moon Studios seem to be very popular, to be honest. Do Did the UK do the victory? No, not at all. We didn't get Hot House, Ace. Um, going back to Christopher's, we didn't get victory. No, we didn't get victory at all. We didn't get um, New Age. That, but that's a good raiding. Uh, we didn't get, same as I think the rest of the world. I believe they were, pardon me, I believe they were solely... Japanese exclusive, so yeah, so we didn't get Master Force, we didn't get the Headmasters. I've just seen them actually. I've just they're somewhere here. The versions that I the versions that I think are the ones that I've watched. 
this is what I'd suggest if anybody wants to get, because I get asked this quite a lot as well. Um, this one's quite a good copy of the Headmasters. It's quite good, but um, it's quite hard to get hold of now. What I, again, unless you want to just find them on eBay or whatever, this is what I actually think is a brilliant DVD. I mean, how old school is that? This is what I watched my Japanese ones on, and that's because this has got them all on. This has got Headmasters, Master Force, and Victory across, um, like, a load, a load of CDs, obviously. So, but again, more fantastic artwork on it by the looks of this. So, yeah, there's Megatron and Prime there. This is what I saw mine so as long as that book well, as long as with that book rather that's what corrupted me into the japanese stuff that's there boom right what have we got here i don't buy third party either i did shop over media did you watch i watched uh, i had it dubbed to be honest i had it dubbed i watched it dubbed um i don't know why i just did um i've heard I was, okay, okay it's not amazing headmasters is a bit of a slog um master force is master force takes a little bit of their get going um but it's it's weird as well because not weird weird's the wrong word it's amazing because it's so so different as i say you, you've got to forget about power masters you've got to forget about optimus prime you know he, he's not even the same it's, it's of course jin it's a human it's a transector so their stories their whole things it, it's just brilliant it's just totally different Oh, there you go. I'm waiting. You've inspired me. I'm trying to get a point of somewhere that I can clear up my space. Yes, you definitely should, Adam. You've got an amazing collection. You should, you should spread some. I'm going through radical changes on this side, yeah. So that's why you'll always see on my videos at the moment that there's always boxes there uh, because the movie figures, they're going out quite fast and it's funding things like this, to be fair. This is what I've always been after. Subtitles much better. It seems to flow better. I've got subtitled Scramble City and... Um, what was it? And I, this will make you laugh, but I couldn't watch it because um, they swear in it. Well, they don't swear. They say bass. I don't want to say it because I'm, this is other people can watch it, but they swear in it. And my little boy is six now and he reads everything. He reads absolutely everything. So I was watching Scrambled City only the other day. And um, when Menasaur was fighting uh, Superior, and on the, he said it about three times. It came up on the subtitles playing as day in, in full in full English so um so I haven't managed to watch all them just yet because I can't change it it's it's um it's one of them bootleg DVDs I think it is because um I bought it from eBay and it's got the head it's got the Scramble City episodes in which I've not fully seen and yeah they um the, the subtitles are, are swear words so <laughs> I don't know how true it is but it, I can't watch them just yet I really want to so I, the Headmasters ones I don't think swear so that'll be all right yeah they do they do they do say it on that one which is crazy so I can't watch anything as anybody who's got kids know and six year olds are reading, they read everything on the telly. So that was mad. Um, but the other thing I think obviously that people have been on this channel and watching was that I couldn't believe that I got these back. So these were, these were my original toys. It still blows my mind. It still blows my mind how that all happened. Like this is a book that was in a loft for absolutely forever. Yeah, I won't swear, don't worry, Matthew. I don't swear at all. Um, and I apologize for just saying the first three letters of that. Um, but yeah, for people who haven't seen it yet, that's my little handwriting when I was about seven, eight years old. And the story behind all this was he'd seen my videos on Facebook. Um, and me and him were great mates, you know, you just, I think, same with everything. As I say, I'm 43 on Wednesday and I left school when I was 16, so you know, that's a long time ago 25 years ago and just moved away moved different areas etc um and he ended up moving back to his parents briefly just as he was saving for a house and um ended up going into into the loft and finding all of these figures um as i say most of the ones which i showed on that video but i didn't want to show everything because there was there was just too many the most important was the optimus prime <laughs> very 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 true they banned that. Apparently, it's only the Canadian dub you can get that initially. Lo loads of people are in. This is brilliant. Hi, guys. Um, but, yeah, so other ones that were in here was there's pretty much all of Piranacon. I mean, they're all completely sun-faded. Um, they're still sort of in intact. But all of Piranacon was in here, which, um, again, great memories playing with Piranacon when I was a kid. 
Joined a pen, right? Very nice pen or pencil. I think it's pen, buddy. Should we have a look? I think it's pen. It's definitely pen. It's definitely, definitely pen. What is a repaint or variant you want but can't find? That's a good question. This one's this one might make you laugh, especially if you're in America, because it's not it's not super rare, but it's just something at the moment that's just a bit out of my means and out of my but um it's the Pepsi Optimus Prime. Not the Canadian one. I know the Canadian one's like a de house deposit, but just the normal um American with the little Pepsi sign right in the middle. I don't have at all <laughs> i don't have um a pepsi optimus prime at all i have um just yeah just the normal ones because again in the uk we didn't get a pepsi optimus prime we got one much 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 later on i don't even know which version it is or what optimus prime it was to be honest but we got one quite a bit later on um so yeah just i suppose just a normal optimus prime bumble jumpers in he's got a teeth and baby see all of us parents and we're all we're all in the same thing. Oh, Bumble Jumper, you may, I wonder if you can guess. I'll maybe do it with him later on. Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, yeah, I like that. Let me think of another one. So that's that's an obvious one. That's an Optimus Prime one. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. I can't think. There's just so many variants out there. And that's, that's, that's again, what I love about this whole collecting thing. Have you got Six Night? But, yes, I've got Six Night. Six Night is the quick switch repaint, isn't he? Yeah, I've got I've got a Six Night, and I've done a video on him. Yeah, that's it. Studio Series I think, Sorry, Smiths is is hammering at the moment. No, I've not got the Stars Command Center, and that's because. Um, do you have the Canadian slag? Right, I do not have one in hand. I have one reserved from a very reliable source, and yeah, you did. But I'll do it again in a second for you, Bumble Jumper. Um, I do have, I, I basically I've got one reserved, he's holding on for me, I'm selling my movie figures, which I keep saying, but I am, uh, they're all going, um, they're going way ahead of schedule actually, I initially had planned to hold on to them till about 2027, because obviously that would tie in with the 20 year anniversary of the first movie, but 2022, so it's been like 15 years already, um, and this channel, this I don't want to use the word exposure like it's like way it's because of me but I suppose because the fact that my channel is out there people contact me on a daily oh which I need to quit people contact me on a daily basis like literally have you got this do you want this do you need this can I buy this and lovely lovely people even send me stuff which just still absolutely blows my mind um so because people have found things or they do have things that I wanted and I you know I hadn't visioned or foreseen me getting right now at this particular time i need to fund it i need to fund to get these figures to get them now so the movie figures um some of the chug figures that i've got loose and boxed i've started to sell them as well to, to fund all these so in answer to your question i do have i don't have him in hand but um i will be having a red slag very very soon so that's that's another one that's just that was going to be a secret but i suppose this is a special event so we might as well talk about it um which was your favorite power master and why is it double dealer <laughs> double dealer is ace but you cannot tell me andy from tf the show you cannot tell me unless you have owned one that double dealer is better than overlord because he's not double dealer is a great great figure and i had it when i was a kid but I've got some cash coming my way, so it might be tapping you for... Yeah, please do. People ask me all the time. Uh, my, my Instagram is toys underscore R Russ. And, um, yeah, I can pinpoint you all in, to a few people. Um, sometimes, again, some people might offer me something that I've got and I don't want. And then, of course, if I know that you've got it, you might want one. Just I can say, well, I know somebody who does. And just... I've done loads of that recently. I've done that so much over the last year. And that's another thing that I love doing... What is a figure that you dislike the motor or is disappointing to you? What is a figure that's disappointing to me? <laughs> and it's only newer figures. The older figures, you can look at them and say, yep, yeah, I under you know, they're basic or whatever. Behave, Overlord. Behave, Overlord. Wow, that, there you go. I love Overlord. He's fantastic. Newer figures, unfortunately, and it's... Don't shoot me, but I think new RCs... The robot's amazing, but then you've got this huge thing on the back and it's just like, surely, I mean, I've got to see the new Studio Series 86 and I've actually got the Kingdom one there, but I was just a little disappointed 
with with all the backpack. Getaway's good. Double cloud is better than double dealer, Andy. And I know it's pretty much exactly the same, but the colour scheme's better. Double cloud is better. I love double cloud. In fact, I've got a double dealer special coming up soon, actually, as well. Here is, although Overlord was an incredible toy to think this. I know it's crazy, isn't it? Overlord, I would have completely walked past him in 92. Wouldn't have even given him a second look, which is the scary thing. I wouldn't have even given him, wouldn't even bothered with him. Um, which is, of course, when he did come out. T30 RC is a good compromise. Thrilling 30, to be honest, yeah, that's, um, maybe I need to give her more playtime. She's sitting up on the shelf. But there's not really, I don't really get disappointed with 80p at a church fate. That is crazy. 80 pence. <laughs> wow. Um, what was I saying? Can't think what I was saying then. Yeah, with G1, I don't get disappointed, even if it's as basic as Ironhide with no head. Um, I don't get disappointed with them because of the nostalgia factor. Sky warps in as well. Nice to see you. Because of the nostalgia factor, it's just... And again, I think then the appreciation... Double deal special. Yes, there will be a double deal special episode because I've got something coming special regarding double dealer as well. Again, I'm really, really lucky. What's my opinion of the G2 colours? Half of what I had was G2. Crazy, 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 crazy. It reminds me of a time, again, even though I didn't collect G2, in the, in the early 90s, and it must have been worldwide because in America... I'll come back to that in two seconds. Sorry, in the UK, it must be the same in America. Probably because of Ninja Turtles, everything was like luminescent, fluorescent. There was Hawaiian shorts, Hawaiian shirts. So I completely get all the G2 colours. I get them, I think they're great. Um, obviously, the Ironhide review I did the other day, that's a bit strange because that's just pure camo. The ATP, I'm glad more people have jumped on that because that's ridiculous. That's like $1.14 or whatever. Um, where was the question? Here we go. What is a gimmick that you want Hasbro to bring back? I want them. I was talking about this the other day. Someone was saying they don't do Target Masters anymore, and I don't think they do. I've not seen a Target Master. Maybe was the Power Core Combiners, was that the last Target Master? I think it might have been. But let's be honest, how good would it be to have a 2022 Jump Starter? Come on, that'd be amazing. I think a Jump Starter nowadays would be amazing. Yeah. And I, I agree, I, my, again, the more and more I learn about the fan, not the fandom, the more and more I learn about Transformers history and prehistory and the fact that, you know, Ironhide and Ratchet were exosuits. I love Alien, I love exosuits, I love all that, it's amazing. So, much, much more. And of course, Phil from Robot Recruits in the comments will, of course, again, harp in on that because he collects the Diaclone and Diaclone are amazing and... I, I, that's that program, isn't there, on the um, on Netflix, the toys that made us, just to see them. I think they're brilliant. MP still does Target Masters. You're probably right, to be fair. Yeah, they did a Target Master Hot Rod, didn't they? Battle Masters, which were basically Target Masters. Of course they were. Yes, of course they were. There's blooming two sitting right here, right next to me. Of course they do. Um, I don't know then. Yeah, maybe, as I say, a jump starter. Jump starter would be just to see what they could do. Because can you imagine if they did a jump starter, which did... I know they've got Robo Sen, which is, I suppose, even more advanced than that. But if it jumped and then the legs and then the arms and it all sort, that would be amazing. I'd like to see if they could do that. N puts in as well. Wow. Everyone's in. One question. Do you plan to have all the repaints of the sideways mould, including Dead End and Dino, not to mention? I don't know. I mean, Pretenders. Yeah, Pretenders are great. Um, I don't know, to be fair. Oh, that's that's the movie figures, isn't it? Of course, I've got a few. Um, who knows? Who knows with the movie ones? At the moment, my movie figures, are, they're a little bit on hold. Um, I'm not really buying many of them. I'm saying that, although I have got all the studio series, Bumblebee movie ones on pre-order to come. Um, at the moment, movies, I'm happy with what I've got. And I really, really want to just finish this G1 now. I just want to get that done this year. Um, and then I'll probably start moving on to, to other things as well. I know, obviously, Skywarp. If anyone doesn't know Skywarp, he's got his own YouTube as well. And um, he's got a great movie collection. And, yeah, his, his is worth well checking out as well. Great movie figures and a great channel as well. Hunger's saying Sludge is listed on Smiths, but not for pre-order. Sludge in May, that sounds good. So I've got comments here, comments there. Um, yeah, what else? Modern Action Masters. They have. They're called... Um, 
Super 7 or what Reactivate aren't they? What are they? I think there's, there's is there two of them? There's the Super 7s and there's, what do you think about Transformers Lucky Draw exclusives? They're, they're, one to, they're one in a million, aren't they? I mean, as I suppose, it's for the person who wins it, it's, it's, it's Christmas every day of the year they look at it. Um, there you go. There's reaction and there's, there's super, and there's another one. There's there's two companies in there because of the ones that are about fifty quid, which are massive, um, which have got like the Action Master bomb shell and the others. Red. There you go. There's red and there's reaction. There you go. Thanks, input. <laughs> um, what was I saying then? Can't think. Yeah, they they already out. The Action Masters are, and they don't do a Grimlock or Slag. They did do Grimlock. They definitely had Grimlock, and they definitely did do Slag. Ultimate, yeah. Will you be collecting the Legacy line? Yeah, I've got it pre-ordered from the person who's commented above you, Christopher. I've got, I've got them all on pre-order already. I didn't really want to go down, but yeah, this is. I completely agree with the with the. Um, how about right? Yeah, <laughs> that would be quite good. Making give him like a Wolverine, like shine or whatever. Um, what was I saying then? I can't think. What was I going to say then? Oh, I can't think. Pretenders, yeah, pretenders. Let, I mean, this has got to be a good guy. What idea, don't you think? They, need, they should be Voyager-class shells with at least deluxe-class figures inside. They've got the technology. They should definitely be do that. Grimlock was definitely... I've done videos of him with him in there, and Slag was... Uh, Slug was definitely in there as well. I know you hate him. Uh, just good. Slug's definitely there. Slug's been there a few times, especially in my one. I've done. I've had videos and picked him up in there. How did you get them? Do you recommend eBay? Ah, uh, uh, there you go. Super 7. Um, yeah, eBay, you can find bargains on eBay. You really can find bargains on eBay. But most of the bargains nowadays are gone because people know know about them all. Um, you very rarely, in the UK, I say this all the time. Um, I say this quite a lot. Like, we don't, we've got things called charity shops, which are the American equivalent of thrift shops and things like that. But there's never any toys in there, really. I mean, you've got to be really looking. No, I don't get upgrade kits and put. Um, I've thought about them, but then I thought, again, if I get one, I'd probably have to go and get all the rest. So in answer, again, to Skywarp's question, yeah, you can find some right bargains, but I don't, I think it, I think it depends on which country that you're living. That's it. It's, it's right, Andy. I've been saying it for, I think, since one of my first Pretender video that I put up about two years ago, nearly. Um, oh, no, it can't be two years. It's nearly two years. I've got the two-year anniversary. I'm going to do a live then as well. That's three weeks away. Um, I, think they, I think they could do it. I think they could do it really, really well now. Them little, what were they? Titan Masters in the Power of the Primes thing. That was a big cop-out. Um, they, they could have done something way better than that. Um, definitely, definitely eBay mid 2000s, yeah, exactly. It, you really could. And in the direct, could you put some? T I, if I could, if somebody would um, tell me how to do it, of course I'll do it. If, if I don't mind anybody, if can somebody private message me after and tell me how I need to put the subtitles in Spanish, please. So um, then Skywarp can have this. We definitely have the technology. We definitely need the new Thunderwing as well. We definitely need. I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about who's going to be like the next Titans. And apparently, obviously, no, not Titans, Commander classes. And um, Thunderwing definitely should appear in there. Maybe even Tidal Wave as well. Um, but Thunderwing definitely needs one. He definitely needs a really good one. We had that, again, repaint of Overlord, didn't we? Which was Black Shadow in Titans Return. No, the Micromasts aren't that good. I don't get toy hacks either. I've got nothing to get. Yeah, Patriot Prime obviously loves them, and I th and I can't sit here and deny that sometimes they um they do of course enhance the figures. But for me, again, it's just a case of just if I get one, I'll have to get <laughs> them all, so I don't bother. Roadblock is brilliant, and um, what's the gold plastic Autobot one called? The Sky High? No, not Sky High. He's the actual Pretender. Skyburst, I can't think. Maybe it's I, he's a brilliant pretender. That's a fantastic pretender. The, again, the technology is a hundred percent there. They should they should do it. We but again we don't know, do we? We don't know what's going on at all with everything. The legacy line, I think. Titan trip to come with toy hacks is amazing. Skyhammer, that's him. That's him. Skyhammer. I think he's a great figure. Again, I've said this. I think we're all discussing it right now. In fact, right now, that my appreciation for the pretenders being an adult is 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 so much more and 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 it's hard to say metal hawk as well was just ridiculous metal hawk's amazing 
I love it, was his attic rocks on eBay and it was full of lovely limbs. Yes, that's it. That, that could be right there, Adam. That could be right, to be honest. Um, I think you're right. But yeah, going back to Override. Nice pretender, but the gun flip out was awesome. Yes. Yeah, the of course, the trigger bots and trigger cons. They were really good. They were really good, the trigger cons. I had him as well when I was a kid. Override, definitely. Yes, yeah, a metal hook. Maybe we should get a decent metal hook as well. Not, not a repaint of... Was it a trigger happy mould? I think it was. Yeah, I am Guzzy, I am live. There you go, Guzzy's on as well. I've been live for 50 minutes, buddy, but it's cool, we're all chatting here. Yeah, Metal Hawk was a Japanese exclusive, and in case you didn't know Andy, he was the the inner bot was diecast. So, amazing. He was, um, yeah, he, he was diecast, so the weight of him is amazing. He was, in fact, I'll go grab him, give me two seconds. You guys chat. <laughs> So <clears throat> yeah, so funnily enough, as we were talking about um as we were talking about Japanese things and having swords, he's of course got so the outer shell, he's got a giant sword, which is brilliant. Um he's got like a bit of a spear bit on the top of his head as well. Um I just I mean just look at that. That's that's a pretender shell. That's beautiful. Um and I'm surprised he never made his way to America. I mean, look at the colours, he's red, white, and blue. How did that not get released in America? I've got no idea. Uh, so this is the outer shell. And then the inner bit, yes. Yeah, so everything that you can see that's gold on here, that's die cast. So this is super weight. It's, it's no GPS because it's, it's die cast, yeah. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It, it's so good. You can see how it shines, it's metal, it doesn't chip. <laughs> Judge Dredd, yeah. Um, and I might have a go at transforming him here. I've only done this for a video, but... Only, yeah, that's it. He's, he was only... Um, he, he was only a Master Force. He was a Master Force character, yeah. I can't transform this, can I? Let me have a go, see if I can do it. Yeah, so this is the robot. I'm going to have a go while I'm still talking to you. Very carefully. I think if I can remember how to um, transform it. Everyone seems to be getting Earthrise score max now, so it's brilliant. Yeah, exactly that, Bumble Jumper, exactly that. It's just, they just made that little bit of extra effort with everything. And the Pretender boxes, which I've shown you all, I've, I've, if, if anybody wants me to show you, um, oh, you've never seen it before. The Pretender boxes, have you seen the Pretender boxes, the Japanese ones? They made just, the, the effort's amazing. I might as well show you one of them as well. <laughs> So we've obviously all seen our standard Hasbro Pretender boxes, but this is the Japanese one. And you're thinking, well, that's no good. You can't see it, but it folds out. You've got like a bio and a mini thing all at the top there where it's pretending. And then you've got them inside. It's a bit dark in it. You've got them inside like that. So it's just, again, they just, they just, I mean, it's only a flap on a box, but it's just that extra bit of effort that just makes it, so much better and of course when you turn it around on the back you've got again the beautiful master force artwork um i think phoenix has got different colored hair actually compared to the other one no it's wave rider who's got the different different colored hair to the standard hasbro but look they just make that little bit more effort didn't they to car they, they do they do that that's why i sort of get the premium i don't get why they take so long with obviously the new figures because i used to buy all basically pretty much all takara versions I'm going to try and turn this guy into a jet while I'm talking to you guys as well. Um, so I pretty much always brought Takara anyway. Um, but with with the new ones, with the fact that you've got to... They, they should just do it straight away instead of waiting like however many years to bring it out and then and then bring it out. I just saw your sign behind. I hope your RC doesn't need an invite. <laughs> that was I can't even remember where I picked that up to be honest I can't remember where I brought that from at all um, yeah it's it's still there what else are we talking about they just did they made they made that little bit of effort and I think we've all agreed this before loads of people I've spoke to if they'd have done the store they carried on with the figures 
I dread to think how much an AFA metal hawk would be. There's only one person I know who's got one AFA'd, and he's on Facebook, and his name is... Oh, what's his name? Dakota, Russell Dakota, whatever it is. And he brought it, again, years and years ago when it was cheap as chips. And, um, yeah, just looked in with it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to... The Takara Senator Ratbat, which one's that? Is that the, um... Is that the newer one from, um... Fall of Cybertron. If it is Bumble Jumper, yes, I've got that. I've got that. I think that's it. I'll go and get it off the shelf in a minute. I think I've pretty much just worked out, though, how to transform Metal Hawk. That can't be right, is it? Yeah, maybe it is. There he is. There he is. So that, that was Metal Hawk. Yes, it was the Scourge repaint. So there he is, there's Metal Hawk in his ship. I've not pulled his landing gear down. When is the next Toys R Bot? Do you know what? He's going to be coming up soon, which is... To, he really wants to, to be fair. He just keeps... Um, of Gen Scourge, Russ. Yeah, definitely. You definitely need to take an empty case. Can I see my rat bat? Where's he gone? Do -do -do. No, I don't know where he is. I've got it. I've definitely got it, but I'm not going to waste loads of time looking for it. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it, it came out at the same time as Fall of Cybertron. It's, um, it is a scourge, as I say, sort of redeco. Um, in fact, um, I don't know your name, but I know your name on here is You Know You Love It. There's a website, uh, you may have heard of him, his name's Heroic Decepticon. He hasn't posted in four years or so now, maybe longer. He's got a guide to Japanese um, toy shops, where to go, where to buy the best Japanese Transformers from. So he's, he's, his, web, his website's literally known as Heroic Decepticon. There we go, I'm going to put him back anyway, I'm going to put him back as a robot. What is your favourite Takara figure that makes the Hasbro version look like a knockoff or cheap? Jinrai. Jinrai every day of the week, or as, of course, as we now know him as Power Master Optimus Prime. Power Master Optimus Prime, the Hasbro version, is all plastic, completely plastic. Jinrai, who is basically the exact same figure, but he's obviously got the different name. He's got the metal cab again, so he's got the metal front. He's got the chrome smokestacks, not just the normal, um, just, you know, drab coloured smokestacks on it. Um... The high Q, as he was known, obviously, as the Power Master, is just, again, the drab colours. Jinrise is chromed. Um, there's loads of it. Are there other figures you still don't have from UK, US? No, I've got, if you're talking Generation 1, Christopher, I've got every single one that was released between 1984 and 1992. I've got I've pretty much managed to get all of the, yeah, all of the Hasbro and the rest of them. That's it, being very pedantic. Sorry, y'all, isn't that... It could be. Super gin, right? Yes, you're right. It is, of course, when they're combined. You are right. <laughs> you are right. No worries, Andy. Thank you very much for just popping in and saying hello. I'll be seeing you in person at that TFCon. And, in fact, tell everybody in the, in the talk what it is about. Oh, I don't think I've got Sideways. Is he that... Is Sideways this one? Oh, no, that's Sideswipe, isn't it? That's not Sideswipe. <laughs> Sorry, that's not him. Or is it him? <clears throat> I need to work out. Andy's gone. What are we looking at? What are we talking about now? Gold. I don't know what we're talking about now. I've only managed... Skywarp, you should have dropped me a message, like I said. To... When you were younger, what did you think about the Pretenders back in the day, even though you brought them? I found that... I completely agree, Michael. I pretty much stopped buying Transformers because, because of Pretenders. It was... Uh, I, I had skull grin. I had skull grin as a child. Ah, right, okay. Purple motorbike and a Herald of Unicorn. I'll have to find him in a minute. This TF Con, Andy, is he still on there? Whoever's from the TF the show. There's one in May and I'm and I should be there. Um I'm going what's this? Yeah, there's one in May and I'm going. Um I'm on the, I'm on I'm on their table, so that'd be good if anybody wants to pop down, meet up with some people. Pull it in person. Uh, there's it's in Birmingham and it's in May. It's on TF the show's website. TF Ego. There you go, Andy. Perfect. Give it a good 
old promotion while we're on here. So UK viewers, if you, if you want to come to that. Birmingham Clinical. Um, that was on my side. Oh, I haven't got them all. What's everyone talking about now? Everyone's asking me loads. I've got hardly any things ready. Oh dear. I've just dropped Metal Hook. Is anyone going to Lincoln Toy Fair tomorrow? It's too far from me, otherwise I would. In fact, yes, everybody else, there's, there's, there's a few people here. There's another YouTube channel called Transformers The Show. They do pretty much what I'm doing now, but in a much better, much more well-organised manner on a weekly basis, on a Friday night, and there's four or five of them. Um, and they always do, yeah, they introduce new figures, what they've brought, and they have very interesting topics. So anybody who's not seen that before as well, have a look at Transformers The Show. That's another great YouTube channel. What other questions? I think I've missed a few when I was running off grabbing these. I will find you that Bumble Jumper, but not right now, Ed, because it's some, not Bumble Jumper. I will find you that Rat Bat. He's on one of the, the shelves there, but I don't know where. And I don't want to keep running off. I've already ran off to get my four figures. People need to message me earlier. How do you remember all of this? Do you have a list that helps you on what you do and don't have? Uh, I, I did try to start one. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm one of these people that if I'm interested in something, then I can remember it. Like, <laughs> it's one of them things. I love music and I love the toys, so I pretty much tend to remember it. Lots of other things that, um, yes, Guzzy, I am definitely soon. I need to work out when I've got a bit of spare cash. Um, and he's going to look after for us. Um, yes, catch you. See you later. Take care. Um, this TF show and well organized. Yeah, you did actually. It's far more better than this. Look, I'm running up and, and my English is terrible, and it's far more better than this. Yes, of course I can. I don't have him open though. I've got um, I've got him in his package. Um, he's not opened, but I um, yeah, I can do a showcase and a full comparison. What is a figure you want Hasbro to make in their Haslab line? It's got to be. It's got to be thingy that. It's got to be Desirous. It's got to be Desirous. He's got to come out if they make it. Or how good would this be? Voyager class figures. Um, Voyager class figures of Lyo Kayser. That would be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. That would be like... Phew, like like Devastator. Because they made Voyager class figures for Devastator. If they did that for Lyo Kayser, that would pretty much make my year. Make, make more than my year. Make... Most people's most people are getting into the Japanese stuff as well now, so I think that'd be brilliant. Um, that's a good question, though. What else everybody want to ask? I know I've got a few things, as I say, just a few, which have other people have wrote down, which I'll go through in a second. But while people are there... Um, right. Do, do, do. Can anybody answer that? Can anybody answer Clinical's question? How can he get to go to TFCon? Um, or you can message me, mate, and I'll see what I can do for you. I'll see what I can do and... Um, because, yeah, because there's one in Birmingham. Ah, there you go. Ask Andy. Andy, um, Clinical's got a question for you. Um, can he contact you on, on Facebook or whatever privately if he, if, he, if he can't come onto your one? I don't know what to do. Or give each other your um, Instagram names. Am I sad for not caring about Lyakaza, but I want a lawyer, Zach? Ah. No, you're not sad about that because you've, if you don't like a figure, you don't like a figure. It's... What I find, and this is another good question, actually, that people ask me, why do... Because, again, my main reason and journey in Transformers is because I remember them as a kid and I loved having them. Of course, I have no knowledge at all pre-10, 15, 15 years ago. No, more than that now, because it's 2022. About 18, 19 years ago, I'd never even heard of um, Lyo Kayser. But now, and I think it's, um, it's just because I've watched it, uh, I don't plan on getting any of the Super 7 figures um, or, the, or the red ones at all. I appreciate them. I think they look very good. Um, but again, it's, it's space. Um, I might do a review of some. If, if, I'm, if I find some ridiculously cheap somewhere and I think I'll buy that, I'll open it up, do a review and then sell it on. But with regards to keep, actually as part of my collection, I've got no, no desire in getting them. But no, what I was saying about the Japanese ones, I think once I'd seen Victory... And then I think once you get, and I know it's hard nowadays because they are silly, silly prices. But once you get them in your hands, like that metal hawk, that metal hawk is ridiculous. It's so, um, it's just so good. It, it's and so is Lyo Kayser. It's amazing. This video is like crack. I keep trying to get it. I promise I'll try. <laughs> um, 
yeah, just they're just on a different level. They're just so much fun. And I've said this loads, and I will keep saying it. If Hasbro would have made any of them, there's no way I'd have I'd have not you know I'd have stayed with the I'd stayed with Transformers. What is a figure I want Hasbro to remake? So so a newer figure. I think I pretty much said I definitely want a Thunderwing. Um, but I'd also make yeah maybe like maybe they should do an attempt at Metal Hawk. When did G One end for them? G One went right up to Generation Two in Japan. It went literally right up to to nineteen ninety two. It went lit right into it. Um, I'm trying to think. Operation Combination was the name of the toy line in nineteen ninety two. So this was like way after. If you think that MicroMasters. Um, and the combiner MicroMasters and Action Masters was around 1990. They did another two full years because in Japan late in 1990 it was Zone, and they had a new Autobot leader called Diatlas. And then in 2000, sorry, not 2000, 1991, they um, they 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 brought Optimus Prime back as he was named as Convoy, and they actually called that whole toy line Return of Convoy. And then of course. Nice to see you, Gus. Thanks for popping in. I'll let you know about Space Bridge. We'll talk about that on Discord. Um, typically, I've put all my books away, but then, yeah, in 1992, they still did another toy line called Operation Combination. And the crazy thing about that is, is most of them figures then reappeared about a decade later as part of the Cybertron things. And, like, Six Builder was the new version of Devastator and Six Wing... The original Six Wing was, of course, the new mini version of Superior, and Six Turbo was the new version of um, Defensor, and all of these had come out years and years and years ago in Japan already as a completely different toy line as um, as Japanese exclusive. So, and I think seeing them and seeing the originals is another reason why I love the Japanese stuff so much. I really want a Grandus. Do 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 do. Yeah, me too. I'm I'm grinning really sly here. Um, yeah, because it's my birthday coming up soon. I'm not going to say any more. Love some of the bots in Japan, but I hated most of the G2 repaints. Yeah, the G, the G2 were what they were, weren't they? I'm probably going to catch some Zs. No worry. Um, Bumble Jumper, thanks for jumping on. Because I haven't even mentioned what the unboxing was, you can watch it from the beginning and you can have a guess yourself. And let me know if you guess it right. Because, yeah, I haven't talked about it since I've opened it. So, yeah, I know you like to play and I know it's your games. So there you go. There's going to be loads of unboxings next week. So it's, I'm going to do a Monday one. I'm going to do an unboxing on my birthday on Wednesday. And then I've got another special one coming up a week after that because on the 24th, I think it is, was is the two-year anniversary. So I've got loads going on at the moment. Uh, loads of things coming in and going out. See, Ed, Phil's still in. And there's Bumble Jumper going. So just to confirm, Phil, and sorry for everybody else who's watching this, so we're getting black, so actually this is good because if you're there on the line, that means I'm going to get, um, by the sounds of it, the new Studio Series Bumblebeam figures and Black Zarek to be reviewing and putting videos up at some point this week, so that's exciting. I must be the only one who liked the G2 figs. G2 Silver gave me my first full combiner. G2 were okay. I just, I didn't collect them as a kid. I've started... Getting a few of them now, I, um, I'm really into at the moment and massively and um, I've got a good, good lead at the moment of all the crazy, crazy coloured repaints of the Dinobots, including the turquoise Grimlock as well. I've got a very, very strong lead. In fact, I've got some ready for me. The show episode, there's info. Oh, there you go. No problem. There you go. You can watch that. Speaking of Black Zarek, do you have the original? I don't remember that. I do. Do you want to see him? Do you want to see? Do you want to see the original? I I will grab him. It's it's yeah. It's what time is it? Oh wow! It's ten past twelve. Yeah, it's ten past midnight. Um, I can grab Black Zarek very quickly if you want, just to see. See you later. But I didn't realise it was that late. Right, two seconds. This is just very quickly for team. Two. I've got to be careful. If anybody's just come on live now and they think, what is going on? There he is. And I'm obviously being super careful. But yes, I've managed to, I managed to get one. 
never thought I'd get one of these, to be fair, and especially not, um, not, not like this. I'm just super lucky. Did you say, I saw somebody say they got blacker now. Was it, is it the Japanese version or is it the, is, is, is it Gripper, the UK version? Because there's two versions, obviously. There's Blacker, which is the Master Force bot, and then there's Gripper, which is from the European toy line. I love this Trident. I can't wait. This one at the moment, I'm... I can't see any Christopher, but I'm probably... I, he must have. I mean, they, they all have. So in a minute, I'm just going to be lying him down on his back and staying well away from him. I've been told that one of the tricks to do is to loosen off the screws on the bottom of his feet, which I've still not done. Um, uh, did, did, did. So um, I'm quite lucky, as I say, really quite lucky with this guy. Again, pure fluke. Somebody contacted me. They contacted me. They're like, OK, so I've heard you've been after a black Zarek. I was like, yes. And again, it's, it's down to this and it's down to you guys. Do I? Yes, I do. I sell. I sell some of my newer ones. The, the movie figures I sell on eBay because, or I sell on, I get on my Instagram if people contact me. I don't really sell G1 because I've not got any G1 to sell. I'm just going to put this guy down because I'm paranoid. <laughs> there we go. Put him down. So, yeah, I think again you can, you can. That's how all this started with eBay. I can't. I can't deny it. I was buying collections and keeping a few and then selling the rest and buying more and keeping a few and selling the rest. And as I say, this is pretty much self-paid for now. Just don't breathe in its general direction. I'm really lucky with mine. I, I, well, I actually did a full transformation. What was the first one that I got for uh, my... I got Optimus Prime and Megatron for Christmas 1984. Um, and I've said that a few times, so it's good. Wow, blasters in as well. See, this is why I feel that I wanted, I had to do a quite a late one, because it is, it's, it's, it's nearly quarter past midnight over here now, but it's, it's nice to see the people coming in and out, so thank you everybody for coming in. Blaster, you got any questions you want to ask while you're here? I keep getting asked loads about the new figures. I don't know what else to say. The arms on the Headmasters scare me for most. All of them, I mean, if you think about the Headmasters, how understanding is my missus? She's obviously absolutely fine. She's um, she's great. Um, I had a smaller room when we met, and um, it, then we got when we brought our own house. Um, it they it, they took over. They completely took over, and um, I think mainly down to this now and the things that the opportunities and the meeting the people and and I do. I genuinely really like this. I get. I it started during lockdown, obviously, and I've had this conversation with a couple of people today because I've had something pretty exciting happened today but I don't want to give too much away with it and um, I started getting messages from people saying you know this is really helping me during lockdown I love watching your videos it's brightening up my day etc etc so when I started doing all this she was like this is great you know you're actually doing something with your collection you're using it it's not just a room full of toys um, so she's far more understanding now she's more than understanding she's more than happy for me to She's, I don't know if you guys know, and why would you know? We're, um, we're having another baby in less than two months. So, um, yeah, she's more than happy. We carry on. I look after her. It's, it's, it's just great. We, we get on really, really well. Everything's fine. And, um, yeah, she's understanding. She's more than understanding. It was, oh, perfect. Good. I'm glad you got, um, thanks. I'm glad you got Blacker because he's a great figure. And I'm glad you got the Road Caesar parts as well. I'm definitely not collecting you anymore. Which one thing I want to grail? Which is a graded sea spray. What's your current grail? Oh, loads of people saying congrats. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I've got a graded sea spray, actually. Um, I've got a graded sea spray. What's my grail? My grail at the moment is browning. I need a Master Force browning. Um, that's the one that, that, I'm, that I'm really after. So... Um, I shouldn't say that too loud because I'll probably get a few messages tomorrow morning and I'll be skint. Because <laughs> someone will be like, do you want one? I'll be like, no, I can't afford it. Uh, yeah, he's my grail at the moment. That's, he's massively my grail. I've, I've been quite lucky again with, with things that with people, what people are holding onto, onto, onto for me, should I say. So I've got lots of boxes ticked, but I haven't got them physically in hand yet. I've got to raise money, raise funds. So 
Um, expect some pretty exciting unboxings this year, to be fair. Browning, you see, I, I, I wouldn't say common unless you mean the... Um, he's not actually, he's not got any Brownings. Um, unless you had... Unless you're on about the, the KOs that, that were out. There was a couple of KOs, but there's not... Um, I've not seen... The last one I saw boxed went for $1,300 and it went like that. And I haven't got that money, so <laughs> no, I, I can't justify that at the moment. Uh, yeah, he's definitely my grail at the moment. I was lucky enough to get Black Zarek. Um, as I've said, I've got a few in the pipeline that are coming. One's already here for my special birthday unboxing on Wednesday. That's already here. It's it's over there. <laughs> I'm not showing you guys yet. You've got to wait till Wednesday. Um, so I'm pretty lucky. You probably were, but you wouldn't have known to. Don't worry about it. it um, there's, a, there's a couple of KOs on, on eBay right now. But um, the actual Master Force one, again, you don't see it because you're not allowed to sell them. Has the YouTube and Revenue got you a bot yet? Yes, it has. It has. Um, it's. I've been blown away. And one of the guys here right now in the chat, he who sent me stuff, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you've got it. <laughs> you got it. Um, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. And um, what am I saying? Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't matter what I make on here. It, it's 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 the fact that I, I have fun doing this. Like, now, you know, we're all... This is just... A, it's a good chat between you all. I did see an actual Master Force one. It's relatively cheap, but in mediocre shape. And the thing is, as well, too, it probably had no accessories with it. It probably didn't have his fists. probably didn't have his gun. probably didn't have anything at all. Oh, ad revenue. I don't really know. I should have a look what it is. Good deals, Nibby. Back in the mid-90s. Yeah, that's it. It, it you know when you get when you manage to make that thousand subs it's not like you don't all of a sudden turn into a YouTube millionaire. What better way to show it off and show your treasured bots crows then? Yeah, well, exactly. That's the thing which I've started to do. Um, and it, exactly that. It, it it's fun. I like doing this. It's fun. It's it's met. It's got me to meet. Um, yeah, it's got me um, able to meet people like you guys, people in real life situations that I never thought I would be in. Again, with these figures, I would never have been able to get these um, figures because people genuinely do send me messages now. They just send me messages saying I've got this or I've got a contact who can find me this. Um, and that, that's it. I, I mean, how, how lucky is that? I, I, I'm lucky. It's great. I'm just catching up on the things here as well. Ah, fanboys in as well from Mexico. Excellent. I just go to this one to get you more. Well, thank you very much, Def Prime. Um, that, that's, that's really nice to know. So thank you. Yeah, um, he's, he said that he hopes the channel's successful enough that it will fund me to buy more bots. So I really appreciate that. That's that's nice to know. Um, but yeah, this is this this is good. This is good enough for me. I like doing this. I don't mind doing lives at all. I feel, I feel like I'm just sitting here chatting around, trying to catch up with all of the questions here as well. Um, you know you love it. What's your real name, mate? Because I keep saying that. Um, let's, let's give you by your proper name. It's a work in progress, but there's definitely something that you're going to want to see with this anyway. Um, he's quite a lot of people's grails as well, isn't he? He's a huge amount of people's grails, but I got him that I can do the... I want to be able to do the... Is it called the Battlestar platform? I think it is, isn't it? Or the Battlestar convoy platform. I know I'll be able to do that for a video anyhow, so I'm looking forward to being able to do that. That should be fun. Pete, thanks very much, Pete. I hope you don't mind me calling you, Pete. With this YouTube success, I'm looking forward to the Toys R Us book in the future. Someone else has suggested that. Loving us here, doing figures is great. It's someone else has completely suggested that. Someone said I should do a book, um, like you see some of the, you know, the, you know, the fault, like the, oh, what's his name? Mark Bellamo books and stuff like that, like the Mark Bellamo ones, maybe, um, because of the stuff that I've got, who knows, but I know that it's very, very, very difficult. Um, the chap I mentioned on here not so long ago um, called, what's it called? Called Heroic Decepticon. He tried to do it. He tried to do it and he got he got really far into it. He got pictures done, he had them all ready and then Hasbro um, just just killed it, just knocked it on its head. He had, a, he had a Kickstarter set up, he had everything working for him um and then he was literally issued with i think it's pretty much known as a cease and desist isn't it yeah um 
but if I suppose if this channel gets popular enough that Hasbro would look at it as 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 an as an advantage to them, then hopefully um then maybe they, they might consider it. I wouldn't want them to think that obviously I'd be stepping on their toes. It would just be it would just be showcasing. So maybe if if anything, I mean that would be the dream, wouldn't it? That would be the total dream to do a book like that. Um yeah, great micro change and all that. There, I've picked up a few just by pure fluke. But yeah, I'd love to perhaps do that because um, everyone, everyone's got the books now where you look at them and the accessories that come with everything. But how about exactly like you know, Pete's pointed out just a minute ago. Here's here's slug. No, he's you know what I mean. But here he is normal, and here he is with in, with his Canadian variant with his red face. He is um, he, the the pretenders. You know the the Japanese one. He is diver with brown hair. He is the Hasbro version with the yellow hair. I think if we could get it passed, I think it'd be a brilliant idea. Do you know what? That's true. That's a really good point. Um, but yeah, I know they did. I know that there was two guys. There was Bryce Rutledge. Bryce, he does his photos. And the other guy's name, as I say, is Heroic Decepticon. Is there a line you will move on to after the Japanese line? I don't know. I think what I'll probably then try and do is just get better versions of um you see there you go i might just have to just get better versions of the ones that i've got or maybe try and find a boxed version um of, of that but i don't know again it's it's all sort of i suppose space permitting maybe go on to the brave series but i don't know much about that um i'm quite happy with a lot of the new figures to be honest i really am quite happy with with i was quite happy with the um, wolf of cybertron um thanks very much blaster um I was really happy with a lot of them figures. Some of them, even like the ones that people panned and people slated, like tracks because the legs didn't fit together or whatever. I look at things slightly different. I look, I'm not going to play with it, so it doesn't bother me that if I don't, when I transform it, that it doesn't clip in place every time. Okay, it shouldn't happen and it should be fixed. Um, like when they've just released Road Rage with exactly the same problems. And, but I know a lot of people, a lot of reviewers, were really annoyed by that but for me it didn't really bother me because all i want to know is does it look good standing on the shelf or does it have a great homage to the g1 tracks so when i see that figure it reminds me of g1 tracks and it brings back them good memories i had as a kid of, of having g1 tracks so for me it it was good for that reason i you know it, the, the things did pop out so it didn't really bother me that that it wasn't ideal um legacy i've not seen any in hand yet i've seen a couple of people have got a few of them We're here and there around the world, etc. But they look good as well. So um, I think the one we all want to see, if we're all being honest, is we all want to see what um, Menosaur's going to look like. Didn't you return Origins Bumblebee? I did. They wouldn't take it back. They wouldn't take him back. The pain in the bum. I suppose, yeah, that's a good idea. They wouldn't um, They wouldn't take him back. I've still, he's literally sitting... He's up there somewhere. They would, uh, because I brought it. For those of you who saw the video, I brought it from uh, Comic Con. I brought it from a Comic Con, and um, they were like, "You've got to take it back." And I was like, well, "It was a Comic Con, so I can't." And they wouldn't. So um, I've still got my Origins Bumblebee, unfortunately. But I'll just have to keep him in robot mode because I don't like the alternate mode at all. <coughs> that that that's my thing. Some people, you know, I know obviously the Transformers, etc. But I th it's it's different isn't it i think um i th I, th I agree with you there david as well i think sometimes people can be a bit harsh or or over the top i'll i'll say straight away if i think something could have been done better but sometimes you know you've just got to accept that it's okay so i'm quite happy with the new toy line so fingers crossed maybe there isn't any other vintage ones that i need to revisit um i'm enjoying the beast wars figures because i completely missed all of them so I'm enjoying the new ones from Kingdom. I'm enjoying the ones, the reissues. I brought the Rat Trap reissue, um, the vintage reissue for a bit of fun the other day as well. And that was, yeah, it was just nice to see them. I think the main figures I really like, are just the combining ones. So I think maybe I might get a few more um, of the Japanese ones if I can get them, if I can get more Dino Kings just to display individually and in um and in main bot mode because they just blow my mind but of course they're they're daft hard to find but i'm doing pretty good doing pretty good got a few of them now got to got little pieces coming from all over the place to piece it all together so got loads going on with that which is all good fun what else have i got on here everyone's chipping in i'm just trying to catch up with the questions because i couldn't see them all 
to the t I don't know, but I mean, yeah, maybe I should look at a book. I know loads of people could just keep setting it. Book could be a thing, could be the way forward, as I say, if it was a mutual venture with them and it, and it bothered them. Robots in disguise combiners, maybe, maybe, Pete, that could be a good idea. Again, I hold my hand up, robots in disguise. And if I'm being pretty honest, most of the Cybertron toy line, I've not got a clue. I've got a few of them, um, just picked them up. Rail race, yeah, that's the train one, innit? I need to look at that. New drift, and you see, that would be interesting. I wonder what drift they would do. Um, I play that game Earth Wars as well all the time, and they've got, of course, got the old one. I can't believe how much Kingdom Megatron is for you guys in um, in Canada, David. That's that's a silly price, silly, silly price because he's not really that rare either. I was filmed once for a documentary that was student doing. This is this is exactly I think what we're saying right here, Michael. It's it's nuts. It's um I don't really want to step on any of their um Omega Prime is a masterpiece. It's you, you know, it's it I they would I don't want to get shut down. <laughs> of course I don't want to get shut down. Um but it'd be a good idea to do the book, I think. I think definitely it's gonna be a good idea. If, if I could. But that's what this channel is. That's another reason why I started turning this channel into, you know. I want it to be an online database. So, you know, you might think, right. Because at the moment, I'm trying to get it all together. Thanks, T. Thanks for joining in. Like my Optimus Prime ones, I'm, I'm slowly going through all of the all the different ones. And I'll do that with all the figures eventually, once I get time. Um, there's just so much to do, in there? There's so many figures, so much going on, so much new stuff. It's crazy. What's the actual time? It's quite late now, isn't it? I'm probably going to go for about another 15 minutes or so, guys, as well. So, because it's super late now. And I'm going to do another one in about two, three weeks anyway. So, if anybody's missed or if anybody wants to come in, um, please, as I say, if you give me lists of figures you want to see, I can have them all here ready. Then I haven't got to jump up and run and get them all. Um, um, I don't mind at all. That's the point of this channel. I'll show showcase whatever you want me to. Um, just let me know, but I'll, I'll be doing another one in a couple of weeks and I'm going to be wrapping this one up in about another 15 minutes or so. So any more questions, fire them at me. This has been fun. Thank you to everybody who has jumped on. What do you think about Mastermind Creations? Right, you're going to have to jog my memory because I I heard of them, but what do they do? See you later, Hunger. Take care, pal. As well as Jay Harvard. My main reference points, that's the ones who I use mainly. Um them books they're, they're the ones that have sort of helped me out the most and then apart from the japanese one as well which i mentioned which is brilliant no problem christopher thank you very very much for, for stopping by i really appreciate it um and i'm happy to help everybody they, i know they do but i master but i can't think what figures mastermind creations have made off the top of my head do you know what shall i type it into google let's have a look mastermind not big on third parties at all um Oh, of course, of course, here we go. There's, are they the ones that did that Frenzy is Red? Friffer, Frenzy is Red, Rumble is Blue one. Must be. Kapow Toys. I Again, I've got no issues with third parties. I think that some of them are absolutely spectacular. I think that they're absolutely brilliant. I've just seen a picture of Overlord here, and there's a picture of Springer. But um, but for me, I just it's another rabbit hole that I just can't go down. I just... Um, for that reason, just because A, price, B, space, and C, I'm, I'm a bit of a, I like the originals, I really like the originals, and I know I'm buying some of the newer figures released, but, um, and Mastermind Creation Predator King, let's have a look at that. That's the one with the giant sword, isn't it, and I'm sure that's brilliant as well, I'm sure I've seen that. I completely agree, Pete. I really, really get annoyed that there hasn't been a the one at all. There's been a, there's there's been a knock off of it, knock off of it. There's obviously the um, the Chinese version which knocked the book off completely, but they haven't. I've managed, luckily enough, to get the actual original book as well, and it's got extra artwork in. I probably should have showed you that, to be fair. Um, and that book, you say the book is brilliant. It's an absolute. That's my just as important to me for, for collecting as, as the online sites. I like to have something physical in my hand so I can just flick through and look at all the time. So um, I know exactly what you mean. I might have to look at more third party stuff, but again, when I get to conventions, when everything's now slowly starting to open up and get back to normal, 
that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going out a lot more, going to be getting my face about, because I never did before either. I, I don't, and there's no reason why I didn't, apart from that I was either too busy or pre-COVID, only the first two years, obviously busy with my kids. But like now that this is an integral part of everything that I do and enjoy doing, I'm definitely going to be doing it. What Titan do I want next after Nemesis? Yeah, I want Nemesis. I was trying to think who's Nemesis, but of course it's the ship, isn't it? I would like Titan-wise. I don't know. That's a great idea. I don't know. I'm going to go to TF Nation as well. That's the one in um, August, isn't it? I'm going to one in May and I'm going to go in August. I would probably like... I'm looking around and thinking what deserves to be a Titan. We've had Omega Supreme. We've had Trip to Khan. Maybe an Overlord. Who knows? Maybe an Overlord. I think they could probably do an absolutely... St Imagine an Overlord, like a Titan now. That would be amazing. Yeah, Overlord. He's completely just gone straight in. In at number one for my most wanted Titan. Pardon me. I said Titan class layer like, Kaiser, okay, but I think he'd, that'd just be too big. Um, but and, and Lona, unless um, unless they did it the same as obviously with um, Devastator. Do I have Minerva? Not physically in hand, but I actually again she's one that's on hold for me. There's a where's there's a there's TF Nation. This it's in UK. It's a UK based thing in August. We don't get much. We only get a couple, and they're only just some of them are quite new to be honest. Um, yeah, there's one in August. I'm going to be going on the Saturday to that I think, and I'm going to one in Birmingham in May. Uh, TF Con on the Saturday as well. Right. Last five minutes, guys. What we got? Any more? I'm just trying to think. Definitely, as I say, definitely the um, Overlord is a Titan. Heathrow. No, um, Heathrow's the airport, isn't it? Um, TF, which one, which one are we asking about, Pete? TF Nation. In fact, I'll, I'll put a picture of it up here for you. TF Nation. Dot com. Turn Omega to a Titan, so we could do Overlord. Agree. Learn more. Here we go. So this is TF Nation. This is a UK thing. Am I buying the Studio Series yellow box? Oh, I know what you mean. Do you mean the Cliff Jumper and Cup? The Buzzworthy Bumblebee ones. I will probably buy the Buzzworthy Bumblebee version of Cliff Jumper because I don't have the Earthrise Cliff Jumper, um, and I really like that mould. Uh, Cup probably not because I've got Studio Series eighty six Cup. Um, I've got a few of the original Viz VHS tapes. Yes, um, Buzzworthy. Yeah, that's it. Would Broadside be a good? I suppose he would. They've said that. Can you imagine how big they'd have to make the aircraft carrier though? That would be ridiculous. It'd be huge. Um, what were we just talking about? Then I was going to show you something. I was going to show you the other books I've got there, but that's not that. <laughs> I'm just back. I'm only here for another couple more minutes, mate, but that's nice that you're back in. Thanks for that. What were we talking about? Yeah, so I was showing TF Nation, wasn't I? Yeah, it's, it's a UK thing. Um, it's this. Learn more. There we go. It's 20. It's, that's what TF Nation is. That's what that is. Yeah, I'm going to get that cliff jumper. I'm not going to get cup because I've already got the cup. I don't, although I like variants, it's mainly of older variants. Thanks, Import. Thanks for stopping by. We'll do one ourselves again soon as well, especially now you're on the Japanese ones. We'll definitely have to do one ourselves. Um, and then the other one, TF Con, which I'm going to, just to show you these. Oh, there's loads. Oh, there's, there's a few then. There's a few... Okay, the auto assembly. I again, I need to get my. I need to get out to see some of them as well. Do do right. Last couple of minutes. Let's round this up. It's tired, and I can hear one of my kids crying. <laughs> there we go. But no, I suppose yeah. That's why not a broadside Titan or Supreme size. I think it's just not a big enough figure. Obviously, the alternate mode, which is an aircraft carrier, is huge. Um, but then imagine the the problems they'd have trying to make a jet just as big and the robot just as big. Definitely go for maybe 
maybe commander maybe commander class broadside that could be pretty good uh but maybe not maybe not titan but yeah anyway so this is i've had a great time doing this i have i, I really don't want to end it but i feel that I, i'm very tired and um i've pretty much answered everybody's questions for now but again what i'm going to say leave if you want to leave any questions in this or if you want to see anything in this um leave the comments because i'm going to be doing a two-year one in another two three weeks tops because the 24th marks the two-year anniversary of this channel and i'm going to do another one then with another special unboxing as well so i can't wait to do that with you guys um and yeah i really really don't mind do i do you own any of any of the worst line ever action master i've got them all i've got every one of them every one of them that was released um hunger because yeah I had to buy them to complete the collection so yeah i've got i've got all of i've done a couple of videos so if you just type in action masters you'll see some of them are collections some of them are um uh some of them are collections and some of them are just individual bots thank you again christopher that's very kind of you um yeah leave me know just want to say this has been fun good night everyone it really has been fun thank you everybody for stopping in i'll keep reminding you on the news things but yeah i don't mind i'll line up every figure that you guys want to see behind me and i'll just bring them out and show them you if you want if that's what you want me to do let me know this has been a great great experience and a fantastic achievement for you guys not for me for you guys for the fact that you guys have stuck with me already for this so there you go that's a lovely thing as well to say david thank you very much um i i do intend on keeping um oh thanks there we go i do intend on doing this channel there's nothing as i say it's just part of my normal life now so rinding this up right now huge thank you guys night night to everybody who's in the uk and good afternoon good evening and good night to everybody else in the rest of the world thank you ever so much um i've got loads of things coming up so yeah keep your eyes on the channel and keep your suggestions coming in take care guys Boom. night everyone say night i'll just say night to everybody yes do one we'll do one we'll meet up pete 100 percent. let me know um message me on here or on toys underscore r us on my instagram give me a message and um, we will have to meet up definitely take care everyone